Hello everyone. Last time we have talked about using a clone function to replace copy constructor and copy assignment operator so that object copying can only happen explicitly. Today we'll talk about another advantage of using clone function. Let's look at an example. We have a class dog and the yellow dog is derived from dog. In the main function we have a yellow dog d and then we call the function foo with the yellow dog d. The function foo takes a dog's pointer as a parameter and inside the function we create a dog c which is copy constructed from d. Do you see any problem with this code? We know that d is a yellow dog so what the function foo get is really a yellow dog. But when we copy construct C, we are copy constructing a dog. So as a result of that, D is a yellow dog and C is a dog. So C is not really an identical copy of D. This is not good, because a copy is a copy. If it is not identical to its original, how can you call it a copy? To solve this problem, we can use, again, a clone function. We define a public virtual clone function. And this function will return a dog which is copy constructed from itself. And the yellow dog also have a clone function, but it will return a yellow dog instead of dog. And in the foo function, instead of calling the copy constructor directly, we'll call the clone function. And now C is indeed a yellow dog. So in a sense, the clone function is like a virtual constructor. It makes sure the appropriate type of object will be constructed no matter what kind of type the original object has been casted into. One thing to note is this clone function returns a dog's pointer and this clone function returns a yellow dog's pointer, even though one function is the overridden function of the other. This is an important feature called covariant return type. It allows an overridden virtual function, in this case the clone function, to have a different return type as long as its return type is derived from the base class function's return type. So this is the important C++ language feature that makes the virtual constructor possible. Thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and check out the other videos I have. See you next time.